Good evening, everybody. This is Gertrude Macha here in Wellington, New Zealand. I hope you've all had a fantastic weekend wherever you are in the world. It is already Monday evening here at 7.33 in New Zealand. And I thought I would just catch up with you and touch again on a subject I talked about a couple of weeks ago, very briefly on trusting your intuition. So this came in as a question from another one of my Facebook listeners. And she said to me, Gertrude, how do you learn to trust your intuition? And I'm going to try and illustrate this with a story. So when I went to the United States for the first time, I think it was 1999, I'd gone to visit my brother in Dallas, Texas. And I went to visit Joe. I was on the Greyhound bus all the way from New York to Dallas. And I remember arriving at this bus stop in a small town called Carrollton, which is where he lived, and getting there and he wasn't at the bus stop and feeling very uneasy because it was getting late, it was getting dark. I had all my luggage. I had just come from Africa for the first time and I felt really scared. Now, after a few minutes, I started to notice a group of young boys in uh, Cadillac who were driving around the bus stop. They made several rounds around me and it made me feel very, very, very uneasy. And it was just a feeling I had. I couldn't quite put a finger on it, but I knew that if I stayed at this deserted bus stop for very long, I was in trouble. So I saw a bar just across the street and I dragged all my luggage to go and call my brother. This is before I even had a cell phone. And I made the call to his house. He wasn't there. So he had obviously gone to a different bus stop and I totally misunderstood his directions for me to come to downtown Dallas and not where I was actually standing. The minute I walked into this bar, the music stopped. And I remembered realizing that I was the only black person there. And somebody said, look what the cat drag did. The hair on the back of my neck stood up. For some unknown reason, I knew I was in trouble. And I decided to just go to the bartender and ask him if I could use the call booth. So he pointed to a call box in the corner and I picked up the phone and before I could think of anything else, I dialed 911 and I called the police. And I said to this policeman, I am a black woman, I am in a bar in Dallas and I do not feel safe. And at that time, of course, they can tell where you are using their satellite technology. And he confirmed that I had actually walked into a white supremacist headquarters. So, <laughs> yes. It was frightening, it was scary, and they told me to just walk to the door and they would send a police car to pick me up. Now, when I look back in retrospect, by the time my brother came to pick me up, I was already sitting in the back of a police car, and people have asked me often, Gertrude, why did you call the police? So intuition is a knowing without knowing. When you know without anybody telling you, it's just a feeling that comes over you. And human beings are like dogs. We have that sixth sense. And normally you will feel it at the back of your neck. The hairs on the back of your neck will stand up when you're in danger. Or you will feel it as a queasy feeling in the bottom of your stomach. And so that's how intuition guides us and talks to us. It's an animal sense that we all have. Sometimes you have it around people or strangers that you don't know, and then you, something will happen and you will tell people, it was just the feeling I had around that person. So intuition is that knowing without knowing that something is wrong. Knowing without knowing, it's not something you do using your head. It's something that all of your senses picks up on that you're in trouble or something is going to go wrong or you shouldn't be dealing with that particular person. So 
the more you use your intuitive senses, the stronger they get. And the stronger they get, the more you use them. So if you ever have that gut feeling that something isn't quite right, trust it. The more you trust it, the more you develop that sixth sense. And it's an amazing way of assessing new circumstances. It could be you walking home down a dark street and just knowing that something might happen. Uh, in my career as a mentor and a coach and a counselor, I have talked to women who have been physically abused, who have been raped, and nine times out of 10, they knew that that perpetrator was going to do something. They always say, I, I had a feeling. Trust that feeling. So that's how your intuition communicates with you. It's a gut feel, it's physiological, you feel it in every sense of your body and trust it when it comes. Because the more you trust it, the more you develop it as a sense that you can use in your life. So thank you for asking me that question. Um, a lot of times people ask, how can I be more intuitive? It's about listening to your own body when it tells you and it guides you that something is wrong. So I've had a lot of fun um, thinking through this and I thought an example like this would be the best way to explain what intuition is. So thank you for tuning in. I can see a few of my friends in Singapore, in Malaysia, in Australia. Thanks for tuning in. I will be back online again tomorrow with yet another little nugget of wisdom. Keep sending me your questions. I love what you're doing in helping me build this content. So this is Gertrude in Wellington, New Zealand, and I will catch up with you again tomorrow. Bye for now.